Am joc de alu, am de ambasador Switzerland to Israel. The Swiss ambassador is dealing with all the matters of relations between Switzerland and Israel. Big part of our work is to take care of the important Swiss community in Israel. Secondly, we are very active in promoting relations in all spheres, mostly economy, culture also and of course our political relations. For the Swiss community, it is definitely very much connected to provide them with the, with the services of a civil register. So whenever there is somebody uh, who is born, not only we have one of the, the ninth largest Swiss community in the world and the second largest in Asia, but we have the most dynamic in the sense that uh, the number of new Swiss here, of birth, is extremely high. The natality of Swiss people in Israel is very high, which makes out of the Swiss community in Israel proportionally the youngest in the world, about 50% are less than 18 years old. So it's about providing them with a passport, with birth certificates and all these, these matters of a civil register. Switzerland and Israel have very compatible and very different mindsets. The Israeli strength a little bit our weaknesses and the Swiss strengths are a little bit the Israeli weaknesses. In terms of mindset, there is a culture of risk in Israel, which is best illustrated by the amazing number of VCs and how powerful the VCs are. There is a culture of failure, I mean a positive culture of fa failure. If you had a company, you invested, didn't go well, then it's no problem to be able to bounce back and create a second company or a third company. I know uh, VC investors who are telling me I only invest on people who have already failed one because I think they will be stronger if they have learned from previous failure. That's very different from Switzerland where uh, failure is seen as uh, almost a stigma that will accompany you. Many people feel ashamed of having failed. We, st we are still living in this culture, which I think is, is wrong. I think I very much prefer the Israeli culture. This is where we have a lot, a lot to learn from you. And of course, the fact that in Switzerland we have this negative culture of, uh, of failure makes us much more cautious when we put our money somewhere. The strengths of Switzerland, three aspects I would like really to uh, underline here. The first one is the framework conditions to do business in Switzerland, not just in the fintech sector, but also in the fintech sector, are very good and very advanced, even compared to uh, comparable countries. The second thing, Switzerland is the host to a number of big companies, big multinationals. And in all areas, of course, in the financial sector, the UBS remains the first private wealth manager in the world. Zurich is the host also of a number of family offices. So we have some of the big banks, some of the big actors in the financial sector, also insurance. But we have also some big actors in many areas, from the food industry to a machine industry. And the third aspect is that if we manage to stay competitive, it is because we have maybe some of the best skilled workforce in the world. We have an education system which is encouraging young people to work as soon as possible. And that makes out of them not just people who have been at university and have good theoretical skills, but they are really into the practice from a very young age. And also maybe a last factor, uh, Switzerland is very much integrated in the world economy. We have a free trade agreement with China. We are completely integrated economically in the European Union and also our relations with the United States of America are extremely uh, intense also. Well, for Israeli companies, Switzerland can really be a door to the world. We have to let the Israeli innovation circles, universities, VCs, startup, incubators, accelerators, and also government, of course, we have to let those people be aware of the potential there is to work with us. Uh, so far, we have done a lot on fintech, blockchain, and I see a big interest of, of this type of startups to work in Switzerland. My ambition would be to go beyond the financial sectors to go also to some companies who could be involved in some production in Switzerland. I'm thinking they're medtech, biotech.
One of the things you have to look at is, uh, is the location. If you need to have close contacts to, to the best universities, depending on the field, you, maybe you prefer Lausanne to Zurich. If you want to have uh, synergies with startups involved in the fintech, blockchain and the cryptocurrencies, then we, you will probably look at the crypto valley between Zurich and Zoo. Then you have to look at the taxation because you know we have 26 taxation systems which can be very different. Be modest, pragmatic and effective. I don't know if I dare to say that what I miss the most in Switzerland is food. Especially in winter now I miss some of our traditional plates.